Welcome to Long Beach, Washington. This charming beach town is located in the southwest corner of Washington State. Here you will find fresh seafood, amazing sunsets, rich history, and 28 miles of beach to explore. It's the perfect escape for anyone living in the Pacific Northwest looking to slow down, relax, and unplug. It's 1245, our room is ready. We're gonna grab a few things out of the car and then check into our room. We just checked into Salt Hotel, which overlooks the Owaco Harbor. The rooms have recently been remodeled, the beds are comfortable, and our room has all the amenities you could possibly need. You getting your bed all cozy? Yeah. We're visiting during Razor Clam Festival, which is an annual event held here in Long Beach. It's the celebration of everything Razor Clam. Let's go check it out. Believe it or not, they especially rinse in the bed. These tend to withhold up to 100 miles an hour in a stone. First thing is, they don't have a raffle ticket. Okay. Okay, perfect. The Clam Chowder Taste Off is an annual event where local restaurants compete to be awarded the best chowder trophy. Matt and I love seafood and clam chowder, so this was the perfect place for us. Gretchen isn't a big clam chowder fan, but she enjoyed dipping her crackers in the samples. After trying all the different samples, you place your voting ballot in the box. There's something in there. Oh, what do you know? Cool. What do you say, Gretchen? You know what this is? What is it? Ah, this is not a normal treasure chest. This is called the dead man's chest. And inside the dead man's chest lives something quite odd and unusual. Don't be alarmed. The heart of Davy Jones lives in the dead man. There were multiple different food trucks and vendors, handcrafted items, face painting, a giant slide, a beer garden, live music, and more. Trinkets. Show me what you got. Oh, hold it out. Okay, cute. The weather can always be unpredictable, and this weekend is no exception. Our clothes are wet, but our spirits are high, and Razor Clan Festival carries on. Pacific Avenue has many restaurants and shops to explore. Look for fun beach souvenirs, grab a bite to eat, or a scoop of ice cream and a sweet treat. Can I see you real quick? 
Surfboard. Pretty. Guess what? This is that frying pan. As you're walking through town, keep an eye out for the iconic frying pan. Chef Wellington Marsh made a giant clam fritter using this pan in 1941. It's a year-long reminder of the town's annual Razor Clam Festival and also makes a nice backdrop for a picture. Marsh's Free Museum is a curiosity shop known for their Jake the Alligator Man display. Make sure you bring some change, including quarters, nickels, and dimes, so you can play all the fun games. What does this do? <laughs> I smell ice cream and deep fryer. It smells good. We stopped at Sweet Bees for a quick treat. Gretchen and I ordered the cotton candy ice cream. Matt ordered the salted caramel. We also ordered the ribbon parmesan fries. The food and service were nothing short of amazing. for three matey putting me near the window so i can keep an eye on my vessel <laughs> that's pretty good Gretchen, can you do a pirate salt hotel has an on-site family-friendly pub enjoy handmade seasonal food and cocktails with a view of the owaco harbor they also have outdoor seating when the weather permits Gretchen ordered the kids grilled cheese and Matt and I shared a burger and the smoked tuna milk. The food and service did not disappoint. After dinner, we relaxed in our room for a bit before we headed to the beach. It was a stormy and rainy day, but we still had a great time running around on the beach. Okay, what about two caramels? caramels right there. Scoopers is the ultimate ice cream and candy shop. You can also pick up a bag of taffy or any convenience store items you may have forgotten. They have over 40 flavors of ice cream to choose from. The scoop sizes are quite large, so a single scoop is all you really need. It was Easter on Sunday and we needed a quick snack before we headed to Cape Disappointment, so we went down the road to McDonald's and had the play place to ourselves. We just arrived at Cape Disappointment State Park. If you're in a sandcastle building, flying kites, or looking to get out and stretch your legs, you don't want to miss this. You will need a Discover Pass to safely park here. We decided on hiking the Cape Disappointment Lighthouse Trail. It's approximately one mile round trip. We took the side trail on the right to Dead Man's Cove. The descent into the cove is slippery, so be careful. There was even a really cool beach fort.
Gretchen had a blister which temporarily put her out of commission, so I wandered up the paved trail to see the lighthouse. I'm walking up from Dead Man's Cove to the lighthouse and I just came across this cool bunker. I passed an old bunker along the way and it was pretty windy at the top. I have to say, this is one of the coolest lighthouses I've ever seen. While you're in the area, make sure you stop by Waikiki Beach. Cape Disappointment was far from disappointing. It's a really fun area to explore. I highly recommend that you check it out on your next trip to Long Beach. We're back at the hotel to get some dry clothes and then we're gonna go find some coffee and head back to the Razor Clam Festival. We just pulled up to Bold Coffee and Espresso, which is an art cafe located on the north end of Long Beach. Let's go check it out. Order a handcrafted drink and take a stroll through the art gallery or relax on the patio. Gretchen picked this out. <laughs> it's cute. Headed back to the Razor Clam Festival for the Dungeness Crab Plate event, and we filled our tummies with delicious crab. With each plate, you also get a roll, hot butter, and corn on the cob. Fun place to go, rain or shine, is the Funland Family Fun Center. They have laser tag, virtual reality, and arcade games. Just finished up with the arcade. Now we're gonna go to a candy store and called I got a lot of candy The Candy already. Man for more saltwater taffy. To the Candy Man! <laughs> to the Candy Man! <laughs> If you're craving saltwater taffy, fudge, or need a quick sugar fix, make sure you check out the candy van. We're heading back to the car to go check out the Kite Museum. I was hoping to check out the Kite Museum while we were visiting, but unfortunately, it was a holiday weekend and it was closed. There are exhibits of kites from all around the world and even a World War II kite exhibit. The Washington State International Kite Festival is an annual event that takes place in August and fills the skies with an assortment of kites from all around the world. The kite museum was closed. We're gonna go check out the boardwalk. We parked our car by the pickled fish and went for a stroll on the boardwalk. It's about a half mile stretch through rolling grassy dunes and is the perfect spot to watch the sunset or take a stroll with some ice cream. When we visited, it was pouring down rain, so no sunny strolls with ice cream for us, but we did enjoy exploring the area in the wind and rain. Alongside the boardwalk is the eight and a half mile paved discovery trail, which commemorates the Lewis and Clark expedition that took place more than 200 years ago. I would recommend renting a bike at a local shop to explore as much of the trail as possible. You look a little wet. <laughs> After exploring the boardwalk, we headed to the Pickled Fish for lunch, which is located on the top floor of the Adrift Hotel. The service was great, and there were amazing views of the Pacific Ocean and dunes.
Then it was back to the hotel to dry off real quick before we headed out to North Jetty Brewing. North Jetty Brewing is a kid-friendly local brewery. They have an assortment of games and a big barrel of peanuts that you can help yourself to. They even have a few snack options such as pretzels, hot dogs, and chips and salsa. Galetti Spaghetti is the place to be if you're in the mood for Italian food. Gretchen ordered the kids spaghetti and Matt and I shared the chicken parmesan. Everything exceeded our expectations. The portions are huge and you won't leave hungry. After dinner, we had a break in the weather, so we made our way to the beach to enjoy the most amazing sunset and we even saw a rainbow. Before our drive back home, we stopped at Dylan's Cottage Bakery for coffee, donuts, and a breakfast sandwich. The baked goods are made from scratch and they also have a deli with soups, sandwiches, and more. Mm -hmm. 